Hi everyone. Today we're going to make a simple coaster craft using the dot painting we used on our wine glass craft. So this is the project we're going to be making today. And the first thing you're going to do, you're going to have in your kit, the coaster, it is white. What you're going to come in and do is give it two coats of the blue paint. Uh, give it a coat that's really thin, that way it dries quickly for you. Once it's totally dry, give it a second coat. And it only takes a very few minutes for them to dry in between coats. I also coated the side of it also. The kind of paint that we're using is a glass paint, or you can also use a gloss enamel. These two paints will dry to a nice resistant surface so you can wipe them, you can wash them, and they will resist water and should last you a number of years. So let's get started. So I've started one over here. And what we're going to do is the tool that we're using is a lollipop stick. I actually bought this in the candy section of a craft store. Um, you can use anything you'd like really, even a pencil, which would give you a larger flower. So what we're going to do, I have my paints here in the palette. And as you recall from the last time, we're going to hold our tools straight up and down. Just touch the tip of the paint with the tool, come in and start our flower design. And the flowers we're doing today have five petals. So that's going to be the first one. Let's see a whole one. You want to cover your coaster with the design as you can see is in this one. In order to keep the design going, I brought it out to the edge of the craft. So not all of the flowers actually have all five petals, but it looks like a great design because it looks more natural. So again, we're going to come in since we're doing a five petal flower, we're going to come in one, two, three, four, Five, and there you go. And afterwards, we're going to add our yellow in order to complete the petal. I like to do the middle of the surface first and then fill in along the edges if I feel there's too much space. So there's another one. If you put a piece of paper underneath the coaster, it'll make it a little easy for you to turn it. That one didn't come out is the same size as the other. So I'm reloading the tool coming in. And that's an important thing to remember. You do need to reload your tool each and every time you come in to make a dot. So I'm running out of a larger surface. So I'll probably get maybe one or two more flowers in here and then we'll start in along the edges. And it is perfectly fine for your petals to float off the end. And if you're really not happy with the way that your petals look, just take a little bit of water, wipe off the petals, and then you can come in. Uh, if you need to, you can add a little bit more blue paint to cover the areas and continue on with your design. So this one, I'm not going to get a full petal with, but that's okay, I'm coming off the edge of it. And when you do yours, you're going to take more time and care with your flower placement. Right now, I would just like to show you when I watch YouTube videos, if anything lasts too long, I sort of lose interest. So we're going to try to get this done quickly. And you know what? I think I'm going to be happy with that. I have a couple little spaces. Nope, I'm not going to be able to fit it. Otherwise, it's going to look too crowded. And another thing you want to do, you can see how the paint builds up on the edge of your tool. Every now and then, just dab it on a paper towel and wipe it. That way, the size of your dots will stay consistent. All right, now I'm going to come in and do the yellow dots on my flowers. And the yellow paint does tend to dry a little 
lighter than what it appears when it's wet. So you may have to go in and give them a second coat once it dries, but it, it's totally up to you. Your design, so do, even here with my little partial one, I'm going to come in and give that a petal. Again, like I said, the only really important thing to remember is that you're coming up and down with your design. Now inside your kit, you are going to have a white circle that you can practice your design on. You can see this was, I did a couple of these to see which color paints that I liked. So you're going to have that to practice on. You can do both sides just, and I wouldn't even bother with the background, just do the, the white part with the flowers because it's really the petals that you're trying to get in. All I'm going to do now is come in with my paper clip, same thing, straight up and down with its design and come and start fill in some of that empty space. I'm not really looking to put a lot of dots in. I just want to break up the blue. That way it's visually more interesting. And again, even with this, you wanna make sure you're coming straight up and down. And again, take your time when you're doing it. I'm trying to get through this quickly. So you can start your craft and have your own coaster. And it's really up to you to decide, decide exactly how many dots you would like with yours. And again, you can kind of see where the paint is collecting on the edge of my paper clip. So I'm just gonna give that a quick wipe and start again. And I think we're going to call this done. So again, a really quick, simple idea. If my camera would focus, that would be great. There you go. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you take pictures and send it into the library, we'll put them on our Facebook page. So here are the two that I have completed. Um, again, take your time when you're doing them. No need to rush through. I hope you enjoy it and have a good time. And we'll see you next time. Take care.